Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial by Equazor. In this video, we are going to see how we can use the memory feature of this Casio FX300 MS, Casio FX100 32MS, 32SX, 85MS, and 220MS, and 300MS. So this will apply up to 350MS as well. So in this calculator, we have two types of memory. One is the independent memory that you can store a value. Uh, for example, you can store this value into E and the memory E or memory A. And the other memory is that you can add a value on top of the memory. In this calculator, we have these letters A, B, C, all this pinkish color that you see up to F and then X, Y and M. These are the uh, values for the memory that you can store values and you can access them with this button here one is rcl which is recall and then sto sto will function when you press shift so let's store 2.5 into e 2.5 and then uh, store is a second function or shift press shift and then e now you'll see the value of in stored in e now let's uh, store 32 in a 32 and then second function store and then a now the value is in a i'm pressing all clear here now if you want to just recall a press recall and a so it brings 32 if you want to bring uh, e recall e now here you can do a calculation or anything that you want uh, with the value for example uh, here we can say e plus 5 recall e plus 5 it goes with answer or you can say recall e go with the left arrow here and you will see that you can enter some other value now let's store 5 times 5.1 into f 5.1 second function shift f and that's into f pi times uh, 3.8 for pi I'm pressing shift with this button clear shift pi times 3.8 and the result into B second uh, shift store B now that is stored in B I'm gonna do a calculation just hold on so 80 second function or shift store B now that value is in B let's say you want to do some calculation we call it g there is no g but it's just arbitrary so let's say you want to do 2e plus f plus b so 2 uh, recall e plus recall f plus recall b the way exactly the way that you see it here just press equal sign and the result is displayed here and let's store 5, 5.1 second function store into x so that's already stored uh, we we know that e was 2.56 and 2e plus a let's do that 2 uh, recall e plus recall a so that is a value of calculation or f divided by 3 recall f divided by 3 or b plus 655 recall b you see here the equal sign the value shows here you can uh, it automatically uses the answer but if you want to show it exactly like that you can put plus so press left arrow plus 655 that also works So now the other type of memory is that you want to do the calculation of let's say this value you want to multiply it uh, 2 times uh, 3 plus 6 and then and the result will be stored in the memory and then you want to do uh, this calculation and add it on top of the result and then this calculation add it on top of all of those. To do that uh, make sure that you don't see here m this m here l m will appear it shows that we have a value if if we have a value you can store zero uh, into the memory 
And to do that, this M is also available, part of this A, B, C, D, and M. So let's say put zero, second function, store, and then this button. Then it puts zero and clears the memory for us, making sure there is no value. Now let's do this calculation. Two times three plus six. And then now just press this M plus. Pay attention when I press it, you will see an M here. So that M, tiny M, shows that we have a value. Now, if I do 8, the next value, 8 times 2, and then plus, this will be added on top of the memory, you see, memory plus. And then, if you want at this point to recall it, just uh, recall an M, so this is the value. But if you want to continue, 5 plus 4 times 5, 5 plus 4 times 5, and then plus. So it has been stored there. To recall it, just press recall on M, and that is the value. We also have memory minus. So let's say you want to do uh, 8 divided by 6.32 and subtract this from memory. So this time, press shift and then this button because M minus works with shift. Now it has been subtracted. So if I do recall M, now the value is 57 point, that value that you see on the screen. This was how to use the memory of this calculator. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video and also subscribe so you can get updates of my other upcoming videos.